Alright, what's up guys? It's SS Rage, aka Danny right here. And uh let's get into this episode. So of course you guys see the lovely layout that I got. Finally got it in. Uh took six episodes just to get it. So this one will be what we'll be showing. Alright, we'll show off our team. Even though there's a layout that shows our team right now. But of course we have our lovely level 25 Ponyta. Our level 25 Toxel. Our level 25 Dreepy. Our Dynamaxing Chameleon. Gigantamaxing Charizard once it gets to Charizard. Our Driz Drizzile, which I'm not so interested in. I can't wait till it evolves into Inteleon. And of course, our uh, other guys are Surfetch <laughs> that we got in the last episode. We did not show him catching it. It was on an off screen grindy thing, and I knew we, we needed it. So, uh, of course, we got Galarian Farfetch as well. So, let's get on into the story and get through these episodes. So, we gotta meet our lovely, lovely Chairman Rose at the seafood restaurant. As Oleana is gonna rudely interrupt us and say that, do not keep the Chairman waiting. Head to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. So you will not forget the chairman's face. I'll give him, give you one of his lead cards. Cool, cool. Chairman Rose is the kind of man who gets downhearted if he doesn't take care of things he needs to right away. Go to the seafood restaurant as soon as possible, so as not to keep the chairman waiting. Okay, Oleana. I, I understand you're cranky. But yeah, we got our second badge, and we're on our way to the third. Third. Third gym leader. Kabu. So, let's see if we can get done what we need to do. Of course, if you don't know where he is, he's right here in this lovely restaurant. And of course, there is Sonya. Danny, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, you were invited too? You two know each other? That's great. Come now. Please be seated. Love this game so much. Holberry is a seafood town. Naturally, if one is, to, is going to eat here, the obvious choice is a local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of the wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dyna Dynamax bands without her. <sighs> she was saying that there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector? That's the devices that allowed me to discover the power spots. Locations that emit gal galar particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is so worried though. If only there were something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it is about time we get going, Chairman. Hmm, but I hardly had a chance to speak with Danny. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped if something needs to get done. There's no time like the present, after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. <sighs> Does he think he he's doing me a favor? He he's right into he's right that the vault would be a good place to look in for info on the legends, but 
You get the water badge? Yeah, defeating Ness is no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. So we got Retaliate. Interesting. Not one of the best TMs to have. The user gets revenge for a fainting, fainted ally. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this power is increased. This is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jim Challenger. So we are definitely going to get into this. All right, mate. You both got the you've got the both the grass badge and the water badge by now, right? In that case, we're both headed for Motor Stoke and the Fire Gym Leader Kabu. How about I share a little tip about the Leader Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up in a hold up now in Galler Mine Number Two, undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can't take him on in Motor. Stoke. Stoke, even if we zip right over there, putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So, I say we go to, we head to Galar Mine number two ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Alright, so let's do it. Let's see, who do I want to lead off with? Hmm. I really think I should put Farfetch in there. Gisile. Charmanders are Charmeleons are Sorgus Pokemon right now. Full 26. Well, yeah, let's do it. Did I look over here already? I think I did. Oh, no, I didn't. So there's an item over here. We got a shell bell. I think I really want to put that on Toxel. Toxel would be really good for that. Thing, give to a Pokemon so They use it on our tree. Oh, Drizzle does not have. Oh, I probably maxed out Drizzle too. And we use the Clever, Swift. Um, I think Toxel needs more base points and resist defense. Creepy. So we got everything we really need for this. Damn, we got Lure Ball. We got new moves. I'm going to uh, sort by number. And let's see. No one can learn some of the stuff that we have here. Brutal Swing, Tail Slap, False Swipe, Bulldoze, Electric Web, Retaliate, <coughs> Beat Up, Swift, Purple Magical Leaf, and some of the stuff we'll teach later. But we got this. We can do this. Alright, let's get on to that. Galar mine number two. That's a Kufun. Galar mine number two is a good spot. It's full of rock solid Pokemon. All right, let's see what we can get into. I know we're gonna have to face face B very soon. But oh, Wimpod ran away. Dang it, Wimpod. No Choodle. I don't want. I don't need you. You again. <sighs> I feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then you surely would be up for a Pokemon battle. Naturally. It's utterly inconceivable that I, the challenger chosen by the chairman, will lose. Okay, dog. A 
I love the I love the music for for the rivals and the other people. This music's really good. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Beatty. Sends out a Solosis. Very interesting Pokemon to send out right now. And of course, we are gonna go for first impression. Goodbye, psychic type. It's okay. Hmm, looks like you've grown a bit. Only a little bit, though. You really think yeah, I'm gonna lose to you, dogs? You have another thing coming, bruh. <coughs> so, I'm gonna use Bite from my Dreepy, because Dreepy's pretty fast. It's a very fast Pokemon. Oh, Psyshock. Damn. Some really good moves. Oh, that hurt. I use my uh, leftovers. Three B is really fast. I really like its speed. It's tough too, but that that special defense that just took a freaking side shock is really bad. All right, who are you gonna send out now? I was about to send out Ponyta. Yeah, you want to face Ponytas? I... Uh, I don't know about that. I think I'll send out Sir Fetch. Or... Madame Fetch, as... As he is a girl. Alright, let's do it. So, first impression... Tony to is destroyed. So Drizzile level 26, Tassel level 26, we're, we're doing pretty good. Hatena? Alright dude, your, your Hatena is not going to be good. Well, I'll use my Drizzile because I love Drizzile. Excellent, not everyone can corner my team like this. Anticipation. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. You're you're not gonna win. Okay. I think I really want to see Portita. First off, against it. It's not every day I get to battle you, so I suppose I may use a move like this. You're very ridiculously cocky there, Mr. Uh, Bead. Beady. Or Bead. Very effective. Fairy wind. Yeah. Simon. Really boring. I have the better psychic attack. I have two psychic attacks that will destroy you, Beat. Side beam again. Don't think B really understands that I'm psychic as well. <coughs> Zen headbutt will probably end this. Because. 
Ponyta has a good attack stat. Ponyta level 26. Yes. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. Ah, pardon me. It seems I must take back my words. You're not weak. You just lack talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you at least tried. So I got Beads Leak card. Now where should I go next to collect wishing stars? I think Beads just a little too cocky for his own good. Okay, we turn to heal up everyone. Dreepy need to be healed up and so do you ponytail. Yes it pretty well when Pod runs away. And of course, if you don't know what those are, it's Galarian Stunfisk. <coughs> I don't know why they really did this, but I used their chop. Critical hit. <coughs> nice damager. I'll throw chop again. So if you don't really know how to uh, get, uh, get a Galarian stun, stun fist or a uh, Galarian Farfetch, it's only in sword version. And the way to evolve it into Galarian uh, or uh, Surfetch is by getting three critical hits in a battle. It's really interesting. So we caught the Galarian Stunfist form. Living in mud with high iron content has given it a strong steel body. Now I do not want to name this Stunfist, but I do want to see its stats. It's got 32 HP, its special attacks low, it's H is attacks high, its special defense is high, its defense is high, and its uh, speed's pretty low. So it's not going to be joining the team. I think I have my team for for this playthrough pretty much. As soon as we get Rapidash and uh, Jack Lock and Toxtricity and Charizard and Inteleon, we are pretty much good for this game. And not Draclock, but Drag Dragapult and Galarian Rapidash and Toxtricity will be all very good. So I need to heal up. And of course, after this series is over, and might start before this series is over, I will be having a cage lock against one of my friends. So I hope you guys come to see that uh, that series come out as well. But yeah, right now it's on this. Uh, the focus is on this series. I didn't want to take it too fast, like every other YouTuber who does a series on Pokemon. This is my first main series series that I've actually taken a liking to, and it's episode six of this series. So, hope you guys enjoy, and hope you guys actually like the new layout that I got. Even though it's taken so long to get this. But, no more talking, let's get into battling. My Pokemon is bursting with energy. What I may, what I mean to say is, please battle me. Worker Francis, let's see what you got. A Karkal, interesting. Not a good type, but I will, I'll give you, I'll give you that. <coughs> That's not going to do a lot of damage. Because we are fighting type. To be honest, I thought <coughs> when 
They did get a Galarian Farfetch form, or Galarian Farfetch in Surfetch. I thought it would be Fighting Flying, but they made it pure fighting. It's really cool. A loss is a loss. My Pokemon lost its energy too. That's okay, dude. You you did your best. You had a Carkel. I I can't blame you for uh, trying to beat me with a Carkel. But yeah. It's a worker. When I'm tired of work, it's time for a battle. I'll show you the muscles I've built up. Okay, worker. Worker of on. Sent out Rog and Rolla. Very interesting. Slow Pokemon. But we'll use first impression. It's gonna be resisted. It's the fence fell and it's a speed re sharply rose. So it's got tackle. Interesting. I don't feel like it's faster than <laughs> Surfetch though. Or Madam Fetch or whatever you want to call this this character since Surfetch is a girl right here. <laughs> Timber I'm gonna switch out because technically, I, I want to see what uh, Galarian uh, Ponyta actually does against this. So Timber School, I like its little sprite, but you're not gonna win against the uh, Psychic type. If on loss, the muscles I use for work and for battle are different. Cool, Vaughn. Nice to know that. Uh, there's a TM over there. I don't want know what I want to do. I got a grip claw. Oh, it's uh Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey. But that's really something. I love a battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you, Danny. Surrounded by enduring fans, eh? You're, you'll even be showing up lead pretty soon. Boy, jog off, mate. Jog on, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah, and can't you see that I'm Hop, the trainer who'll be your next champion? Oh, so we got a joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then. And I think battle with you lot would definitely end with some laughs. Let's take them on together, Danny. You ready, mate? Yes. The two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yale's gonna teach you kids that the gym challenge is no joke. You better not be yellow. What did what did this other kid have to come waltzing up for, eh? I just wanted to knock off challengers one at a time. <coughs> the team yell and team yell grunt. Sent out Lunoon and the Thievil. Surfetch and Wulu. Interesting team that we have. So uh I'm gonna use first impression on uh Thievil. Thievil's gonna die. Critical hit. <coughs> Linen used Night Slash. Ow. 
It did nothing, my dude. Double kick to the linen. Quad effective. Dude, you, you guys have no Pokemon that are really good. Send out Leaper. Leaper. I hate. I really dislike that Pokemon. Really do. I feel like Gen 5, when, when it came out, it was really just not a good, good, good Pokemon to have. Not against the whole game of Gen 5, but Gen 5 had some really eh Pokemon. And that Lenoon's gone. That get wrecked Lenoon by a Wooloo, my dude. My dude, you got obliterated by a Wooloo. Yeah, Drizile's level 27. That poison jab's gonna do some damage. Even though it's not superly effective. Oh, we got a crit. That crit did not matter. So we got Toxel level 27, Charmeleon level 28. Are you gonna yell at us because we up and you lost? <coughs> if I use a horn, would I have had a better chance of winning? Sorry, Team Yell, you didn't have a chance. That little mug is the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brother is not useless. I know we are, we're Team Yell, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Nice one, day. That's my rival for you. Now then, where could Kab Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's further in. Let me heal, my dude. Oh, he healed us up. Okay, cool. There's a Dreadnought. I want to catch Wimpod. Just because it's evolution into uh, Golusi Golusiopod is so ridiculous. Uh, well, I'm going to use a Netball because it's a water bug type. So it's quad effective in catching this thing. And there we go. Caught it. It'll be in the uh, boxes, even though I think really would be a good Pokemon to add to the team later on if we if we want to. But right now, I think I'm set on my teams, my team right now for this playthrough. And it's a Dreadnought. It's angry. Is it angry, Dreadnought? Ah! Oh, there's a shuckle here. What? What? Indarnation? Oh, yeah, this TM is Sand Tomb. I don't know if that's really a good move to have. Run. Run. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for helping out with my training, Team Yell, but I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a carcal hard at work. We were getting in its we weren't getting in his way, we were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number of on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scarper and give a morale boost elsewhere. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. That's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's the fire type gym leader. Oh, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and Danny, am I right? 
I'm just training right up until la the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. I specialize in fire type Pokemon and the water type Pokemon in Galar Mine 2 are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Motostock. Get a good rest at the hotel and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Karko. Time for you to head on home. To, I'll make sure you get there safely. Or We're going to be on fire tomorrow. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they can't, they just can't beat Kabu. Man, I'm getting all fired up too. It's a cool little designed area, man. So we're at Motosoka. Uh, that car call from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. You do know about Poco jobs, right? By now, right? I do. Of course you do. Now I'm cream crackered. I'm for the Badoo drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow, that fire gym leader Kabu better be ready because I'm be coming for him. Okay, Hop, you do that, dog. I see a Hatena. Oh. So this is another one of the new Pokemon that I kind of do want on the team. Except for I'm going to have Galarian Ponyta, which is Shields exclusive, which I had traded over f to my friend on a, as an egg, which is why I have Galarian Ponyta. So I do want to catch this, and it's night, so it's going to catch this Pokemon really easily. We're definitely going to do some raid battles on this series as well. So, before we even go against, you know, uh, Leon and all of them. So, of course, I don't want to give Hatena a name, and I'm going to send her to the box. So, again, we have really good uh, Pokemon to have, as you know, whenever we uh, do uh, train... And if we want to switch team members off so that we face against uh, our lovely uh, lovely other teams, so yeah. Got Sock there. Sock's interesting, but I'm not a big fan of Sock. Yeah, police officer there. I think it's time for, you know, a uh, Dreepy to level up. Toxel's gonna change over to that, so I think we'll face the police officer or the mailman or yep. Hello, hello. What's all this then? Fancy a scrap with a copper? Definitely like the idea that they came up with this being a a great Britain British uh, region. So we got the uh, Growlithe, interesting. So of course, Growlithe's in Intimidate is not gonna hurt us. Aha, clear body, astonish. We're so much faster than the uh, the Growlithe with the uh, Dreepy. Dreepy's really fast. It's one of the faster dragon types. That's not gonna do anything. Nothing. Just barely anything because of dragon types. Swift. Dude, you do realize Flame Body is doing. Flame Wheel's doing nothing against Creepy. Yeah, I'm weak now. I'm down by 30 HP, but... 
Dreepy is not something to... to uh, underestimate here. Dreepy's pretty strong. You got some Pokemon with you there. Your battle technique is bang on too. You should have no problems traveling alone. I've seen enough to know you can handle yourself. Well, thank you there, sir. Uh, we have Swift Feather. Health Feather. 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 Muscle Feather. Muscle Feather. And of course, we're here. <coughs> I think I want to do the uh, the little vent over here. So, of course, if you guys don't know, there's kids over here that are looking for their Minasina. So, if you don't know where this is, or you haven't seen anyone else do this or looked it up in the past, then you go over here to the stadium. And you see this here, whistle. And you're going to find the Minnesino right there. It's really fun. And of course. We are going to make our way back to the boys, and then go to the Boo Drop, Badoo Drop In, and sleep. I'm see them came back. Thanks for helping me find it. Please take this. It's my way of saying thank you. And we got a third spray. Raises a special attack when a Pokemon uses a sound-based move. And let me look at my Pokemon because I don't know if I have a sound based move on any of any of them But I know someone will I definitely know it so it's not even a joke. I already know someone's gonna have a sound based move. Thanks to beating Pokemon Shield, I know someone's gonna have a sound based move. And it's gonna be awesome. So let's see what we got. We got Sand Tomb. I type. We got Third Spray. The Shadow Shell. The Amulet. Amulet. <laughs> According to which we should let someone have. We got more balls, we got dust ball, and of course, let's go to the Badoo drop in. Oh, it's Marty. Um, Challenger Danny Ray? I'm giving it all. You're all even this late, huh? Hey, help with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. All right. Wicked. Got some fight in you, huh? You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Marnie. Sent out Krogon. Interesting. I feel awful about loose, but there's no way I'm going. Okay, you're going to send out that. I will send out my Psychic type. Sorry, JP. You're good and all, but you're not ready for this. Psychic. 
That's super effective, but you're done. Get wrecked. Yep. <coughs> We're going to use Water Pulse. Because Drizzile is pretty cool with its moves. It's not a cool looking Pokemon because it just looks like an emo version of a uh, like emo tart tart tartlet. It's like shut up, ma! It's my life. All right, send out your more Pico. Love more Pico. It's a really cool Pokemon. I do absolutely like the design of more Pico. I just don't think it's uh, plausible or uh, it'd be no fun if things ended just yet. That's why we're not giving up yet. It's a more Pico. First impression. We win. That's gone. Gone. Frail. Sorry, more Pico. We won. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Marnie. You beat me. Guess you must not be too bad after all, huh? Guess I better get back, ba get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get some sleep too. Let's get it. It's the sword. The next morning. Oh, Marty's here to wait for me. Morning, Danny. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Kaba's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies. So I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. Thank you. Take this too. A little something for a battle yesterday. Bring heels. Yeah. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire cabin chap, right? Why don't you get over to Motor Stoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? Thank you, more Pico. You're really cute. Alright. Oh, you're the challenger that everyone's talking about. Kabu is a strong trainer, that's for sure. You gonna face Kabu? Well, good luck. Go all out. Pokeballs, great balls. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. So moving, aren't you, Danny? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire is just what you expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go. But I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Danny. I bet you could beat the man of fire, too. I bet you I can, too. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to get our third badge. <coughs> okay. Pokemon. Who do I want to start off with? I feel like you can see what we got for our Pokemon. We got some really weird Pokemon. We got Peta, Choodle, Caterpie, Choodle, Bonsai, Hoot Hoot, Scraggy, Stunky, Boonaby, Pancham, Trubbish, Tyrogue. Jiltic, Dwebel, Stuffle, Meowth, Eevee, Zigzagoon, Dreadnought. 
another Tyrogue. Carablast. Mudbray, Diglett, Silly Cobra, Inke, Hatena, Wimpod, Stunfisk, Aracuda, Ralts, and Hatena, which we already got. <laughs> but it's the actual uh, max rate battle one. So I think we we should start off with, you know, Drizzile. Drizzile's gonna do a lot of damage. Yep, we are ready. The one thing I have an issue with is the fact that they give you the uh, challenger uh, gear right here, but you can't change it to the the uniforms that are over there. Because I would have water dragon on it's mine. So this is one of the interesting ones that they had in this game. A very, very cool one. So you either battle or catch Pokemon, and you can defeat them as well. The gym mission for the Fire Gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn 5 points to clear the gym mission. In case you are wondering, you'll earn 1 point for defeating a po Pokemon in the tall grass. Or 2 points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you on the battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Gym mission start. So, I don't know what's over here. I think that's the... Yeah, it's it's the Sizzlepede, which I really think is a cool mod. So we got Drizzile and uh, Salandit. So I'm already telling you, I'm gonna water pulse the Salandit and get it out of here. But it's gonna fake out on me. Yes, kill the Salandit. Salandit, get out of here. That's why I don't like like certain aspects of this gym. Cause this gym just tries to screw you over. I'm gonna use the uh, Swift and try not to kill this Sizzlepede. It's got coil, so its defense is gonna go up. And accuracy. Well, I don't need to have accuracy moves, to be honest with you. No, I'm going to use a great ball. And catch this bad boy. Oh, it don't want to be captured. Okay. Ow, my drizzle. Alright, so I'm... I guess I'm going to send out my, uh, Surfetch. Egg. I'm going to use a revive on Drizzile. Because I'm not happy about that. Okay. You know what? You're, you're a bug type. You're going to get captured. I can already tell. You're gonna get captured, my dude. Click. So there's two points right there. And then Drapey leveled up. Sizzlepeed. It stores flammable gas in its body and uses it to generate heat. That yellow, The yellow sections on the belly get particularly hot. Nope. And I'm sending Sizzle P to the box. Bag. And of course, we're gonna kill up our Sizzle. Our Drizzle. Not Sizzle. Sizzle. The Shrek the Grass type Pokemon. The Water type Pokemon. 
We got a litwick. Sizzlepeed, okay. Well, I already can tell I'm getting rid of Sizzlepeed immediately. Get that thing out of here. That actually hurt. So land it. I'm gonna use uh the dust balls. Okay. And it's gonna try to poison me. Okay. Yeah, get the so land it out of here. I'll use the soul. I will take out the soul in it. <coughs> this is not really worth being here. I just all can take it. I'm gonna use a great ball. as well. Litwick is ours. So now we just have to battle the uh, full picks and we're good. Litwick. Challenger Danny has already claimed himself four points. Just one more to the victory. Okay. I don't like that we're gonna lose. But don't we have berries that are, uh, boss berries? I would give it to, uh, Drizzile. Uh, but I need that water type move to start working. And I'm gonna wreck this. I'm sorry, Vulpix. I would love to catch you. Is a roly coly oly. Roly coly. It's over. Bullpix had no chance. Drizzle's level 28. Congratulations on another mission cleared. Clearing Le Leader Cow's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Now you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. Off you go, gym challenger. Did we take any damage? No, we didn't. So. Do 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 Welcome, I am Kabu, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you best in both Milo's gym grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in the pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash that true potential. Okay, Kabu. I'm ready for you, man. You don't have any Pokemon that's gonna destroy me. <coughs> this 
Send out nine tails. Cool. We're definitely gonna be going against this team. And we're dynamaxing instantly. Because I already know I have the victory. Yeah, Arcanine's not gonna win, dude. I know it's probably <coughs> be faster than me, but no. I'm not even using physical type moves, so. I'm Light that fire and get your mind moving, Kabu. There still must be a path for victory. Senti scores 27. We're just one level faster. Burn break, Senti scores. Let China Max change our form. I'm not even gonna do it. <laughs> you guys can read it. Oh, we got Gigantamax Senti Scorch, which I find really awesome. It's a really awesome type. Victory! Great Pokemon and great trainer! It's no surprise you won! Often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent surpassed my many, many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I know now know that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you defeated me. Bum, bum. You can now catch Pokemon up, up to level 35. Thanks to Dynamax Phenom, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar's region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping the art culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. I definitely love Kabu. Danny, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Drizzile would be the ones. But still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. Challenger Danny, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you've accomplished here today. I didn't even get to see Will Wisp being used because I wrecked his team. I don't like Will Wisp. 
and take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Cabo himself wears. That's the only problem. I wish uniforms could be worn in, in the actual gym challenge itself instead of the ones that we originally get. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you. <laughs> Starting in the city of Hammerall. Block. Head back down into the wild area surrounding the sea, then make your way to Hammerlock. <coughs> With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Okay, Hop, calm down. Do -do 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 Jeez, Hop, you're always so impulsive. <coughs> so I think we'll, as soon as we get into the wild area, I will cut and end this episode. But thank you guys for joining. It was really an interesting one. None of them have evolved yet. Huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenges altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Woo, we made it. Thank goodness for the flying taxis. Danny, hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, Danny. The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're going to keep winning. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Danny. Let's head for a hammerlock. And we're about to just make it to the wild area. And of course, I see a, a event happening. Hello again, wild area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Dang, him and the lock is up that way. Got it? And yeah, you can certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like any of either of you will ever make it to, through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to enjoy the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll bow you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on, then. I know you challenged Danny to battle in Galar Mine number two and lost to him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, in other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Danny and the champion and whatnot. Do you have do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. So see you later, Danny. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. 
So of course we can start moving. We could do a battle, a, a max raid battle, but I'm, I'm ending it right here. <sighs> Doesn't look like anything really good. There's a polis wine here, so. Thank you guys for joining. It was a very fun episode. We got to beat the third gym leader. We did awesomely in this game. So, anyways, thank you guys for joining. Have a good night. Also, have a very good, have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow. And with that, peace.